So our next step is we're going to take our leftover wires from our motors and we're going to solder them onto the power and ground pads after we get those tinned. Okay, the next step now, after we have our PDB all tinned up, we're going to take and add our wires for our ground and power. So now we have our PDB board with all the ground and power wires soldered onto it all nice and neat. The next step is to take a look, see where we need our grounds, our 5 volts, our 12 volts, and uh, our signal wires. Okay, so for the next part of this, being the pads for power and ground on the ESCs are at the top, I'm going to take and push the wires all the way down flat on the frame and then bring them up to the top of the arms and then trim them off. So I have just a little bit room left over, but not too much. The next thing I'm going to do is get my flight controller ready to hook up to the power distribution board. So this is the way that it's going to be mounted. The arrow is facing forward. It's also going to sit right on top of the board like this. So I'm going to create just a little bit of space. About 4 millimeters, 5 millimeters, somewhere in there. I'm going to take, I'm going to bring this all the way around and I'm going to string it. over to where it says, over to VBAT, right here. I'm gonna pinch that right there. Take just a little extra and that's where I'm gonna cut it. Then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna tin the board and the wires. I'm gonna trim back the plastic in here and get it soldered up. So now working on the stack, on the side of the flight controller, I'm going to take full advantage of this instead of using um, the pins on the bottom. I'll do that whenever I can because it's just easier. We have flight controller wired up to VBAT. So that is all good to go. That way when we take our drone and put this down here. I'm not going to put the spacers in it right now, but that will go right on top. And then there's just a tiny bit of wire sticking out right there. Finish clipping that in, which is totally fine. I'm all right with that. Not a lot of noise, not a lot of area for it to get caught on anything like that. Just right around, right around the side right there, just over and under. So that's the end of that step. Moving on to the next part of it. I'm going to get the signal wires allocated and measured out for the ESCs. So I have the motor signal pads up here. Um, the flight controller does come with several little wiring harness packs here. I am going to use uh, one of these uh, for the time being, I think. Even though these are kind of like the old school plastic coated wires, I don't know. I don't have anything else available right now at this point in time. I'm just literally trying to go with what comes with it. So. I'm going to take six out of the eight because that's how it'll work out. And we have our black, red, green, yellow, purple, and white. And I'm just going to start at motor number one, go to two, three, four, five, six. Um, and I'm not actually going to hook these up just yet because I still have to make sure I have room for the air unit and everything like that. But I am going to get the pads on the flight controller itself soldered pre-tinned and these wires connected so now as you can see on the flight controller we have all six our signal wires here nicely soldered up yet still in contained by the clasp here at the end and I plan on leaving this on all the way until I get ready to hook them up. I'm not doing anything with the ground or anything like that. They're already grounded so I'm not going to bother to do anything with that. This, this are, I'm going to do with that. Hook them up to the signal here shortly but that was just this step and now it is completed. Signal wire is attached to the flight controller. So I think that's about going to do it for this video. Um, we have all the wires for the ESCs soldered on to the PDB. We have all the signal wires 
for the ESCs soldered on to the flight controller. The next step we're actually going to take, we're going to get all the little wires soldered onto the ESCs, and we're also going to look into getting the air unit itself soldered onto the flight controller. Um, you can find one of these. I'd grab them while you can. They are going quick due to everything politically right now. Um, I traveled two hours to get this today as fast as I could. So, <laughs> um, that's another topic. I'm not going to wreck the video over that. I hope you like this. Uh, I'll have another video up soon. And thank you for watching.